Hi everyone, I'm JD from Willow Band Journals and welcome back to my channel. Alright, so we are going to do the final part of making a boho journal together. Um, what I've done is cut out all of the pieces that will be ephemera, that will be tags or journal cards. So I cut out all of the vintage French envelopes and I cut out all of the pockets from the boho kit and both of those kits I printed on 200 GSM when it came to doing the pockets. So I've cut them all out. This is the only one that was left over. So anyway, um, and I've gone through the template and picked out each of the appropriate or the same um, pieces so that I can now go through this and show you how I decide if it will be a tag or a journal card and how I cut them. So hopefully this goes smoothly and easily to follow. So I thought, you know, it's already laid out for me. We can cut them and place them at the same time in the one video. So first pocket, we're going to have a tag. So if you get this piece out, it's just one of the pockets, one of the horizontal pockets. So I haven't cut anything down to size yet. All I've done is cut out those things. So we should be in the same boat. You have cut out yours, I'll have cut out mine. And now we're just going to go through them each one by one and find out if we leave it just as is, if we turn it into a tag or if we cut it down to be something else. <laughs> so all I wanna do, if I was going to use this as a template, I would, you know, just get this cut, cut like that. But I wanna show you that I don't measure. I don't measure. So all I'm going to do is chop that corner off and then get the other corner and chop that corner off. So I'm not fussed about it being the exact same shape. You can kind of see one's more steep than the other. I'm not going to be worried about how the tag looks as long as it is a tag. That's my main point. So there we go. That is the first tag. So then I also do the symmetry thing. So in the, other, in the template journal, I did do symmetry. So if there's a tag at the front, there's a tag at the back. If there's a journal card on this page, there's a journal card on the corresponding other page, if that makes sense. And I'm trying to look for pieces that look relatively similar together so it can work well together. So the next one I've cut out is this, and I've just left it as a journal card because I want to have a mix. I don't want every single thing to be a tag. You could if you want. If you love tags, go ahead. But I want some tags, some journal cards. So it just gives the eye something different to look at. So I'm going to put that one here. <laughs> Another little thing I'm thinking of is like um, that is actually part of this image here on the back page so I'm putting that here because it's the fur almost the furthest you can possibly get from this back page so that by the time you get to this you're like oh you've forgotten that this was here <laughs> almost <laughs> if that makes sense again it really doesn't matter but just I want to share what goes through my mind when I'm thinking about placement so now we're up to this one and I have got this piece here one of the horizontal journal cards and I think this looks better as a tag, so I will trim off the top here, like that, and like that. And this is why I intentionally made the boho kit like this, so that you could easily make your own tags if you want, or keep them as journal cards, so that they serve two purposes. You can get more use out of the kit. Alright, so that's that one. Now, I do also have my vintage French envelopes and let's place those in the pockets too. So we don't have to do anything fancy with those. I mean, you could turn them into tags, I suppose, but we're just going to cut those out, put them in. So turn the page. Now, this is another type of way to embellish, just another simple way. I folded this leftover vintage receipt, French receipt, like this. Because remember when we did our pages, we left one page out. And so that's going to go on like that. And I think that looks really, really cool. And it's interactive and all that kind of thing. So then I have a vintage French envelope that I will stick in there. And now we come to one of these side pockets. So the side pockets are the ones that are like this long um, piece to cut out. 
and I like this bit. So all I'm doing is I'm looking at where do I want my tag? Do I want it here? Do I want it there? Do I want to catch both? And I just appropriately <laughs> go to what suits my eye. So I'll just cut it off there and then I'm just going to trim that and trim that. There we go. There's my pocket there. And I hope that this shows, you know, how easy it is. You don't need to get fast with measuring. Some people um, seem to, when they, when I'm talking to them, get caught up on measuring and um, not knowing or just getting over overwhelmed by all the embellishing. But I hope this is just showing how um, laid back it is. <laughs> how just laid back it is. So I'm using these two vintage French envelopes to go into the envelope which I kind of like that idea envelopes and envelopes and I'm just going to back them like that I like showing the stamp at the top just for the interest if I can get these to line up that would be nice <laughs> all right let's move on so now we have another side pocket that I'm going to cut down to make a tag again the double use um, that the side pockets can double as a pocket or as tags or even as journal cards you could just cut that there and it's a journal card now I want to catch that I like these jewels so that's how I know I want to cut there and then we will cut our little corners like so and then we have a tag here Okay, next one we have this one and I've left it as a journal card because we haven't left some as journal cards for a while so let's break up the pattern and let's do a journal card and I kind of I just like that that's pretty for me with the sequins I want to see all of the sequins all right now I've got our um, another pocket page here using a photo album so I'm gonna stick that one in there and then we've got a tag on this side so again I want to catch this so you could cut it anywhere honestly but I'm just gonna go there that's not straight there and it looks like I've cut off the top here yes okay so then we can cut off our edges but again this is why it's so laid back you can choose for what suits your eye and just cut wherever it suits your eye uh, so don't get hung up on measuring just go oh where do I like it and then cut that <laughs> uh, so we'll put that there of course if you do like measuring go ahead and measure having said that of course do what works for you my method won't work for everyone um, it's not like it could it can, you can definitely follow along but it might not be something that you enjoy so do what you enjoy uh, try different things until you work out what you like best if that helps so then I'm going to stick sorry that vintage French envelope there and that piece there I want to keep that as a full journal card because I love that one don't want to cut anything off then this is the vintage French envelope I'm putting in this pocket again I'm thinking about things like okay so we've got a pattern page here let's break it up with a French envelope rather than something from the kit but again, I will break that pattern every now and then. For example, like this one. Um, I could do an envelope here, but let's use this. So again, I'm just looking at where I've cut it. So I will cut this off here. And then actually, all right, so I've cut this off. What I want to focus on is those sequins. So let's cut that off a little bit more. And I've got a bit wonky. Okay, so now let's cut off the tops, the edges. Okay, and you can see again, like this tag has ended up a little bit narrow at the top, which is all fine compared to this one. See, that's wider at the top. So I just want to trim that down just a little bit to make it not look so weird. I mean, I'm fine if I did leave it like that and I can just tell I'm not quite symmetrical. So I'm going to do that until it suits my eye yeah now that suits my eye I'm happy with that so then I'll put that there let's keep on going so I have a vintage French envelope there and I also have one here 
Again, because it's very boho kit heavy, so let's break it up with something that's a bit more neutral from the different kit. So then, this one's a little bit different from the original, and I could have actually left that as a journal card. I like that as a journal card, but apparently I cut it into a tag. But, you know, I actually, mm, let's do it the same as the other, but I would just leave that as a journal card, to be honest. So your choice. I will just trim off these edges and slide that under there. So I like this, it's kind of interactive like that. All right, now we have the next pocket is a vintage envelope. And then we're going to turn the page. And this is the one that we're going to paper clip on something as well. So just slide that on. Whoops, sorry about that interruption. Um, and I just realized I'm probably not even in frame. I'm so sorry. This is not good <laughs> um, Hopefully you can still see what I'm doing. So so sorry. Um, okay, then we've got our vintage French envelope here So I've got that journal card there that vintage French envelope there and then we have our tag here So I could use that star the sequin star if I wanted but I like the contrast of the green and blue so I'm just cutting it here and yep okay cut it a bit shorter than the other one but that's okay we can have a small tag <laughs> so just trim that off here and again like you can use the bits that you cut off to make journal cards pockets tags as well in different projects so that will go there now over here we have this cute little vintage French envelope. I sized that quite small. <laughs> and then over here, is this a tag or just journal card? Yeah, so I've left this one as just a journal card because I love that whole pattern. It's framed. We don't need to do anything to that. So let's tuck that in there. And then over here, we have got another tag so I want to catch this at the top this beautiful red pattern there so let's cut that off maybe here that's not straight so let's go there and then we'll cut that there and I probably have cut that <laughs> look at that I just kind of wanted to show you <clears throat> you can always make it work so <clears throat> so if you just don't if you just want to go completely loose and free flowing there you go just cut 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 until it suits your eye now it's going to be a small tag but that's cute it's a cute small tag there we go <laughs> so don't fret is what all I'm trying to say is don't fret um, you can always make things work so now let's put that back in there now I've got my two French envelopes here. Yeah, I hope like, yeah, just trying to show you my process is just super, super laid back, no measuring. And it's all based on what I like, what my eye likes, what suits my eye, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, all right, so I'm kind of missing where I'm up to. Okay, here we are, there we go. So what I mean by that is like go with what you like, go with your intuition, your instincts, um, your creativity and do what suits you rather than getting hung up on measuring and getting everything perfect. Just look at what you like and what you want to create. Again, you can notice that sometimes I use the edge, I flip it over, sometimes I don't, you know, it's just whatever I do. And I realize that now it is wonky. So let's put that better. Okay, like that. <laughs> Stick that in there. So yeah, I think you're supposed to flip it around to the white side, but I just go with whatever. <laughs> um, and then I put that one in there, that vintage French envelope. And then I have another paper clip. Oh, I need to grab another paper clip. Hang on. Okay, one more paper clip. 
is just going in I'll put my scissors there so I can catch that not there there so let's see I've just got it here and because I also have another paper clip I will show you see how these paper clips are all kind of at the top now I want to put this one at the bottom just so the paper clips aren't all in the same place so I've got a tag there and I'm using this journal card which actually looks nice as a journal card by itself but I will make a tag now yeah do flip it over <laughs> unless you have it perfectly symmetrical um, you probably want to flip it over <laughs> to avoid all that trimming but if you don't flip it over and if you just eyeball it go ahead do that too <laughs> all right so now we've got our vintage French envelope in this pocket and then we have what's this is this a tag yes that's a tag so all I'm going to do again is cut you flip it over and cut you so this is why yeah it's so enjoyable making journals because um, you're not needing to fuss around about having everything perfect and measuring you're just it's fun because you're looking at things and going oh I like that I like that let's do that <laughs> and just yeah go with what you like I think is my my, my little way advice to make a journal um, you can always make it work to suit what you like so the reason I, again I'm just going with the whole card because I think that's just beautiful and because that's a cover that comes from this cover you can see it's the same thing so let's put that as far away from the cover as we can over here and then over here I want to tag so I've used this one with the beautiful sequins there and what have I done so I've cut it at the top here so that I don't cut off any sequins I think that's why I did that so let's flip it over and if you flip it to the white side is it easier to see isn't it <laughs> all right again I don't know if that made any sense I really hope it did and I hope that was easy for you to follow along go back and re-watch it again if you need to if I went too fast but um, that is my process that's my method that's how I do things by eye by what I like um, I'm reiterating that like a million times just because yeah I just I don't know I think that um, that's what I value in when I make journals and what I enjoy and I, I want to spread that enjoyment to other people because I, I don't want anyone to be so caught up on oh I, I want to get perfect and placement and measuring everything um, just just enjoy it just have fun let it be intuitive let it flow out of your own creativity and what you like and you'll have fun then you'll enjoy what you're making because you're like oh I like that there oh and I like that tag like that oh and I like that there so go, go ahead and do that I hope that was helpful I'm not sure if it was um, if it was let me know if this series was helpful let me know in the comments if you made a journal with me let me know in the comments I can't believe we're at the end this has been the most labor-intensive journal with me series make a journal with me series I've ever done Whew. Um, a little bit exhausted but <laughs> hopefully it was all um, easy to follow along with and um, show me a picture if you did make one share tag me on Instagram or on Facebook share it in the Willow Bound Journals Facebook group page um, so I can see it and yeah in the next series we will try to make a collage journal together one of these ones with a book cover so yeah that shall be fun but I'll introduce that later on hopefully I can get that done before I move in the next video I'll do a proper flip through of these journals both of these are available for purchase if anyone is interested but I'll come back and do a flip through later on so thank you thank you thank you we're at the end of it I feel like I can do like a big deep breath now and <laughs> a big sigh of relief that's done <laughs> anyway thank you so much guys and I will see you in the next video it's always so fun making journals with you you guys are beautiful gems you are gifts to the world just by being you bring light and goodness and beauty to those around you you are amazing so shine bright out there and I'll see you in the next video bye guys